Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Maybe you've been here before. I don't know your life. Today, I'm delighted to share with you my campfire rendition of Pearl Jam's Black, thanks to the wise and judicious voting by the Patreon folks. Thank you, Patreon folks. And speaking of Patreon folks, I hope you don't mind if I take just a moment to welcome some new Patreon folks. They go by Franklin Foster, Mike Hopper, and Stevie McDonald. Folks, thank you very, very much very, very much for your support. <laughs> and if you'd like to find out what that's all about, the link, of course, is in the description. All right, interlopers, for the intro and the verse, we're gonna do it as simple as humanly possible. First, white belt sous chef style, and then we're gonna add some cool stuff to it next. It's gonna be three sets of E, A, and then one double E. So, E. Chef white belt style intro and verse. Now this is gonna take a minute to develop, but just stick with me here. For the first set of E and A, I'm gonna give you two different options and it's completely up to you. When Stone goes. And takes his pinky finger off of his E chord, he's exposing that F sharp note on the B string because there's motion there between that G sharp note and that F sharp note, that's the note that sticks out most to me. And we can add an F sharp note into our E chord in one of two ways. Simply reaching for the E string second fret with our pinky finger, or reaching for the D string fourth fret with our pinky finger. This is my preference because I feel like it stays kind of in the meat of the octave we're focusing on, but this one's obviously a lot easier and it's great too. So here's both, higher. <laughs> lower. Then he plays this chord. This is an A suspended 2 chord. And for us, A suspended 2 means just leave the B string open on our A minor chord. And now we have, I'll do both low and high. Right after this A suspended two chord, one of my favorite things in the history of rock and roll happens, and it's this. He reaches for that note, it's a C note, and to our A suspended two, we can add a C in one of two ways. Either the B string first fret, which clearly and obviously turns it into an A minor chord for a very split second, or the A string third fret, again, completely up to you. I will do both low and then both high and you can choose. That's low, here's high. Or you can do one low and one high or vice versa. It's completely up to you, but that is the first set of E and A for the intro and verse brown bell level. Now in this next pair of E and A, there's one more syllable, so to speak. He starts out on his E and he walks his way to that chord. That's an A6 chord and there's ways to play A6 down here. I don't like any of them. So I'm not going to worry about the A6, but we're going to do other stuff. And we're going to add that extra syllable via adding our F sharp note to our E chord and then taking it away. When we get to the A, you could either do regular A, sus2, and then back to regular A, or you could add the E and B strings fifth fret. If you're gonna do that, you're gonna have to play one finger A, but this way you get some cool high stuff.
completely up to you. Either one's good. This third pair is very curious. <laughs> he starts with his E, and he switches to this. That, it's open E, A7, D6. That's actually a C-shaped, right? Recognize it from C. It's a C-shaped E, so we went from E to E. I find that hilarious. And then he lands on bar chord A. So, if you really want to impress your friends, you can go up here, that's fun. On your way to A. Or you can do nothing. I just, I love this. <laughs> I'm gonna do this one. And the last pair, of course, is just two E's. Do the harmonics on the on the E and B string. 12th fret for extra panache. Panache? I think that's food. Ganache is food. <laughs> panache is flair. Uh, but either way, you'll have something like this. taught her was everything is C and E minor. You do that twice and that's it, but if you want to be super authentic to the record, you can play C with a G in the bass, but you do you C. To E minor. You gotta be able to throw that in. You're on your E minor chord. Pluck your A string just how it is. Your D string goes open two. Your G string goes two open. Reach for your E string third fret. Give it the tiniest almost bend before you pluck it open and that gives you time to get back to your E minor chord. That's your pre-chorus. Bitter hands is D. C, or this is your chance to switch to C at 9 if you like, I like, and then E minor. You do that twice, let your second E minor ring out, and then you're on to your next verse, which of course involves changing this E minor into an E major. That change is one of the coolest changes in the known universe. And now you know what to do all the way up until all the love gone bad turned my world to black, at which point there's a sleight of hand switcheroo that happens because you're gonna play your D. Your C, notice I'm not playing C at nine, there's a reason, but instead of going to E minor, we're gonna go back to D. And back, back to C. The sleight of hand switcheroo happened because the progression right before this was D, C, or C at 9, E minor. But because we went D, C, D, C, the progression for the whole rest of the song isn't D, C, E minor, it's E minor, D, C. Same chords, different order. If you don't know where the starting point is, it seems like the same progression, but it is absolutely not. All made possible by the D. C, double back to D. All that I am, and now we get to which we will discuss now. From your C chord, the B string is gonna go O, one, three, one, O, one, O. You can do the same thing on your E minor chord if you use these two fingers. O, one, three, one, O, one, O. You can do it on the D chord, but it's a giant pain in the butt, and I don't like kind of the, it's, it's, it's a D six chord, which you all know I don't like six chords down here, is the base of operations. So on the D, I'm gonna opt to just kinda, but on the rest, Extra, extra. 
extra ganache. The ending chord is E minor, so now you can involve the G string in your 12th fret harmonic. And that is everything I can possibly think of to say about that. Thank you very much for being here. I hope that was fun and helpful, and I'll see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.